The Aggie men's basketball team is on a roll this year. Former East Central University assistant coach Wade Alexander has led the team to a 2-0 season. On Wednesday night, CU faced their rival Aggies from Oklahoma Panhandle State and defeated them by 20 points. This is the second game in a row the Aggies win by more than a 20-point deficit. With such an effective offense, Cameron still needs some work on their defense. Well, we're going to have to uh, execute a little better on the next one. Play some better defense in the first half, uh, such as this uh, game we just played. Played great defense in the second half, but just didn't bring it in the first. Uh, as well as rebound. We really rebounded well in the second half. So far, the team is undefeated, and with the squad of weapons they have this year, it could stay that way. Dave Smith is the team's sharpshooter, with his ability to nail several three-point shots in a row at the most crucial time in games. He is the key to their offense, especially in the second half. Once this kid makes one, you better guard him, because once he catches fire, he's dangerous. Well, he, he brought us a good spark we needed at the time when we were, uh, wasn't doing a good job scoring. Finally, he hit some shots. He didn't. He was one for five in the first half, and I knew we were going to miss them all. And finally, he uh, he hit a few and banged them down, and it really got us going, and he got everybody uh, back in the game. And then we started getting stops, and that's kind of when our uh, run. Was. High flyer Jamar Burke is CU's hype man. His power and hang time makes it easy for his guards to set the ball up right next to the rim. Burke makes it look so easy. By far the biggest surprise and the most impressive player for the Aggies is number 13 from Apache, Oklahoma, Callan Glasgow. His numbers this season are incredible. Glasgow leads the team in scoring with 18 points a game, and he sets himself up most of the time getting his own rebounds. He's not the biggest guy on the team, but his heart has gotten him 19 boards a game this season. In the first game of the season against Hillsdale Freewheel, Glasgow grabbed 25 rebounds. That's just one shy of Ray Franklin's school record of 26 in a game. Dylan Gillum, Greg Morgan, and Chad Allen are three other players to keep your eyes on this season. Allen has a great deep range shot and knows how to get open. Morgan and Gillum are both quick and have made tough shots in tough situations. There you have it, some of the lineup of this year's Aggie men's basketball team. Next for the team is the Western Washington Tournament. But if you'd like to catch them at home, they will be playing Remo Bible College on December 8th. Come out and support your 08-09 Aggies. For Top of the Hour, I'm Cecilia Ramirez.